This video shows how to calibrate the magnetometer in your paparazzi operated iris drone. Calibrating the magnetometer is needed for proper autonomous flight behavior. Calibrating the gyros and the acceleros is also possible, but not really that necessary if you use the standard IMU configuration in the PixHawk. One important remark is that the calibration of the magnetometer is best done outside, far from disturbing electric and magnetic fields. In order to calibrate the magnetometer, we will need to receive the raw sensor values from the drone, into the ground control station software. To do so, first start up paparazzi as normal. Open GCS. In the settings tab, select the telemetry tab. In the drop down box, select, raw sensor values. Click the commit button. The raw sensor values are now sent to the computer and logged into a file. It is good practice to start a new log file just before doing a calibration. So, minimize GCS to go to paparazzi center, and restart the server. This will automatically create a fresh log file. Now, for the actual calibration, the drone needs to feel all the angles you can think of. So, give it a good go around on all sides, like in the video, but be sure to make rather slow and continuous movements. Now, we'll need to force paparazzi to create and close the log file, so we'll need to stop the server. A log file has been saved to your computer. We can open and analyze this log file with the command line tool that comes with paparazzi. So go to the terminal, and type the following command, sw, tools, calibration, calibrate.py, dash s, mag, dash bp, and then the location of the log, which is in var, logs. The name of the log is its date time. For your convenience, the example command can be copied from the description of this video. The dash bp argument will enable a visualization, that should look more or less like this. If there are any strange peaks, or large gaps, the calibration is of low quality and should be re-performed. In our case, things are looking good. We'll now save the values to our airframe configuration file. Copy the values from the terminal. Go to Paparazzi Center and edit your airframe. Find the magnetometer section, and copy replace the values. You may compare your values and see if there is a large difference first. Depending on where you are on Earth, this may be normal. Save and exit the editor to go back to Paparazzi Center, and recompile and upload the airframe file into the autopilot. Flashing the fly-by-wire is not necessary. That's it, all done. Don't forget to start the server again. Finally, it's time to do an autonomous test flight.